what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can hack your Nintendo 3DS or 2DS um, this works with older and newer 2DS and also 3DS but the only thing is that your console need to be on the compatible firmware for this to be done so I'll leave some link in the description and you can just go ahead read through them yourself and do it or you can just um watch a video and see how I do it so let's go ahead and get started so let's go over to 3ds guide I'll leave the link in the description and it will look like this so scroll all the way down and click right here scroll all the way down again and select the type of console you have in this video I'll be using the old 3ds right here so I'll just click on it and scroll down to where it shows you some information so the first thing you want to do is check your firmware to see if it's on the compatible firmware so what you want to do on your 3ds is just go to settings and you will see your firmware right here mine is 4.50 so just close this after you've found out your firmware okay and what you need to do right now is that the version table right here you need to go ahead now and select the firmware that your console is running on to do that exploit so my firmware is 4.5 so I'll be using this exploit right here to install boot nine strap sound hacks whichever firmware your console is running on you should choose that um, exploit so again mine is 4.5 so I'm going to use the install 9 bootstrap sound hacks. So I'll click it. And once you start to go down, it'll start to show you a bunch of stuff that you're going to need to download on your SD card as well. So what we need to do from right here is download all these files. So go ahead, just click them. They'll take you to a different website. Make sure you choose the the region that your 3ds is on so mine is us and i'm using the old 3ds and my firmware is 4.5 so i'll choose this one right here then you can go ahead and click download so after you've got that one save it on your computer and move on to the second one save b9 installer right here and you want to click the top one download it after that move on to the other one boot 9 strap and it says standard boot 9 strap not the dev kit so once you click it you're gonna see um, some different versions so make sure you you download the standard one not the dev kit so download the standard and after you've download that move on to the next one which is Lu Lumina Luma 3ds just go ahead and download it then move on to the other one homebrew launcher go ahead and download it as well and download the last one pre nine other app and just download the top one right there so after you have download all these files you will need to save them on your computer and follow the instruction after that so as you can see right here I have all the files and I also have my game up here so download all the files and save them on your computer what you need to do right now is power off your 3ds then remove the SD card and plug it to your computer as you can see number one says power off device number two insert SD card to your PC so I'm gonna do that right now okay so this is my 3ds SD card so we're gonna follow all the steps from 
put um, number one go all the way down so number two was insert the SD card to your PC so this is the SD card number three says copy the sound the sound hacks MP M4A to the root of your SD card so let's go for the sound axe so this is the sound axe so copy to the root of your SD card okay number four copy other wrap bin to the root of your SD card okay so let's go for the other app the root of the SD card okay number five copy boot firm from Luma 3DS to the root of your SD card okay and here is the Luma 3DS so double click and we need to copy the boot firm to the root okay and number six copy boot 3d sx to the root of your sd card so let's copy that one here it is number seven create a folder named boot nine strap on the root of your memory card so i'll just copy this name make it on the root of my SD card and number eight number eight copy boot nine firm and boot nine firm SHA from the boot nine strap zip to the boot nine folder on your SD card so the folder that we just created this folder we're going to go to the boot 9 folder right here and we're going to copy both of these files to that folder okay now just double check the folder as you can see they're right there okay now number 9 says copy R9 bin from the safe b9 installer zip to the root of your sd card so let's go ahead and do that so this is the safe b9 installer and we need to copy the r9 bin again as it says right here copy the r9 bin from the safe installer safe 9 installer to the root of your sd card so this is the R9 bin so copy to the root of your SD card okay okay so that's it what we need to do from right here number 10 says reinsert your SD card into the device and power on your device and we're gonna follow from right there over to section 2 launching the safe B9 installer so let's go ahead and remove the SD card and plug it back to the 3DS okay so let's follow from section 2 it says reinsert your SD card into the device power on the device and launch the Nintendo 3DS sound so let's go ahead and do that so let's go over to sound okay so once you're in your 3DS sound you want to click on SD card right there you're gonna see Ned will 2016 up top then press open at the bottom you're gonna get the Ned will 2016 and you're gonna see it up top as well just go ahead and press play you will come to this and it's gonna install so what we need to do from right here is follow the instructions again so as it says wait safe wait for all safe check to complete when prompt input the key combo given to install the boot 9 strap once it has complete press A to restart so as you can see 
everything has been checked and what we need to do is enter this combination right up top right here so let's go ahead and do that combination not sure if you can see it properly but that's the combination right there so let's go ahead and do the combination okay so the combination on the d-pad is left down right up and then press A and it's going to start to do some stuff so just wait until it's done once it's done it says let me focus the camera SIG axe firm install successfully okay so now we need to press A to re reboot the console as shown on the 3DS website so press A and the console will reboot in Luma 3DS so now your console has been booted in the Luma 3DS option so as you can see on the guide website it says on number two that you should use the A button and the D-pad to turn on the following so what we need to turn on now is show NAN or user string in system settings so let me see if I can focus some more okay so we need to go down to where is it here it is show NAN our user string in system settings so go ahead right now and press A once you press A go ahead and press start to save and reboot okay so once that's done let's go over to finalizing setup okay so scroll go down and you will come across some stuff that we will need to download onto the computer then transfer over to the SD card so these are all the stuff that we need to download as you can see it shows up here and it also shows down here so make sure you guys read through these stuff so the first one we need to download is the SIA file right here so click it and download the SIA file the second one you should download the checkpoint SIA file as well so just click the SIA file right there download it third one is the homebrew loader download it right here god mode 9 download it there and uh, dsp1 download it here also you will need to download the fbi sia file and the uh, 3ds x file so you will need to download both of these file right here also download the Luma 3ds updater the SIA file this one and also the this one right here and also the cleanup SD card right here so after you've got all those files downloaded go ahead and read through the set the instruction again how to do all these stuff so the first thing we want to do is power off the the console so let's power off the console and insert it to the PC okay so once we have everything right here these are all the files I downloaded you might realize that I have a folder called first I just made this folder to put 
all the first application inside this folder so I'm not using those for those files anymore so these are all the new files right here so let's continue to read from the instruction okay so after you have inserted the SD card to your computer create a folder called 3ds on your on the root of your SD card okay so let's create folder 3ds okay create a folder called CIAS C -I -A -S. perfect now copy FBI 3DS to the 3DS folder on the root of your SD card so where is it FBI 3DS to the 3ds folder okay now copy the homebrew launcher loader CIA file from the zip to the CIA folder so you need to copy the homebrew launcher to the CIA folder so this is the homebrew launcher just open it and we need to copy it to the CIA folder okay okay so what we need to do right now is copy the Luma update to CIA to the CIA folder as well and this is the CIA let's copy the updater right there And we need to copy the FBI CIA to the CIA folder. FBI CIA to the CIA folder. Now we need to copy the DSP1 to the CIA folder. Yep, there it is now let's copy the the anem mod 3ds to the cia folder Need to copy this one and the last one we need to copy the checkpoint cia to the cia folder okay so once you have all that copied let's scroll down and see what else we need to do okay so from right here okay from right here we need to create a folder name payload in the Luma folder on the root of the SD card so the SD card create a folder called payload okay now copy God mode 9 firm from Godmo 9 zip to the Luma payload folder. Okay, so God mode. Where is it? God mode R God mode 9 firm. There it is. Okay. Now copy GM9 from the God Mode 9 zip folder to the root of your SD card. So let's go back out to the root and let's go to God Mode and let's copy the GM9 to the root. Perfect. 
okay now number 15 says copy setup luma 3ds gm9 to the gm9 script on the sd card so let's go to the gm9 let's go to script and let's go over to the which is it again let's copy the setup the setup right here perfect now the last one 16 says copy cleanup SD card to GM9 script okay and this is it so copy it over to the script um, okay let's go back out all right so go down okay so number 17 says reinsert your SD card and power on your device so once your device is powered on we need to move on to the next step and we need to go ahead now and update the system so once you have done everything correctly you can now go to um, system settings on your 3ds then as you can see up top of it says right here system the first time we check the version it only says version now it's it's saying system so if you have done everything correctly you should be saying system right here and not version select other settings go all the way over to system update and you should have Wi-Fi enable go ahead and press OK press I accept press OK and let the system update okay so once the system has been updated you should go ahead and restart the console so press OK and it's gonna restart okay so after your system has been updated and restart you're gonna get these messages so just press ok and next and everything all right so let's go back inside system settings right here and let's look on the system version that we're running on now and as you can see up top the system version is now 11.7 so this is good so let's exit the set settings okay so once you exit the settings let's go back over to the website and let's go down and start from section 3 launching the FBI so it says number one launch the download play application so on your 3ds you want to launch the download play application right here Then what we need to do from right here is old on the website it says press L plus down plus select at the same time to open Rosalina menu. So let's go ahead press L down and select and as you can see we now have the Rosalina menu. So let's follow from the website. It says um, number three, select a miscellaneous option. So let's go down, press A. Then number four says select, switch the HB title to current app. So that's the top one, press A operation succeeded then it says press B then press B to return to Rosalina menu then press B to exit Rosalina menu press the home button to close the download play application
now it says launch the download play application that is number nine right here so we should launch it again and as you can see we are now in the homebrew launcher and right at the top it says FBI application the FBI application shows right here so on the website it says your device should load homebrew launcher and it says number 10 launch the um, launch the FBI from the list so go ahead and click it and as you can see we are now in FBI application so let's go down to section 5 is this 5 or 4 4 so what we need to do from right here is number 1 says navigate to SD card CIA so the SD card is at the top then navigate to CIA S press A then what we need to do is select current directory that's the top one then number three says select the install and delete all CIA option then press A to confirm so that's the top that's the second one install and delete all CIA press A then press A to confirm and as you can see it's now installing all the CIA files that we copied over okay now press the a button now what we need to do is press the home button and exit the application now you will get some um, a message with some new um, stuff added to the home screen and as you can see we now have a bunch of new stuff added so you can just go ahead and open all of these um, new packages We now have the homebrew launcher. Let's open the rest. Saluma, FBI. Okay, so what we need to do from right here is go down to section five. DSP dump now it says number one launch the DSP application now let's look for that DSP application okay so this is the DSP application so let's launch it and wait until it's completed once it's it says on the website once it has completed press B to self delete the app then return to the home menu and as you can see up top it says the very same thing okay so press B and exit okay so once we are out we need to go down some more and what we need to do is power off the device then launch the god mode by holding down the start during boot so let's turn off the console 
and we need to hold down the start button while we boot the console and as you can see we are now in the God mode option so number three says if you are prompt to create an essential file backup press A to do so then press A to continue once it has completed okay so let me just try and focus and what is right now we, we might need to fix the date and the time if you get this message just make sure that the time and date is correct on the console so press A and we want to go ahead now and just correct the time So once you fix the time and the date, press A, then you're going to get this message, press A again, and then we are now in the God mode menu. Hope you guys can see that. So let's go ahead and continue. Um, number four says if you are prompt to fix uh, date and time, do so, then press A. Uh, number five says press the home button during the pre oh, press the home button to bring up the action menu okay so let's go ahead press the home button and we now have the the, the action menu and from right here we need to select script so go ahead and select script press a then it says select setup CTR NAN Luma 3DS. So let's go ahead and select setup is the last one. Press A. Then it says when prompt to press press A to proceed. Okay, so we now should press A. Okay, so once you have that it says press A to unlock system 9 level 1 right then input the key combo given so let's go ahead and press A and we need to input the key combo so mine is left up down right A and just let it run once it's done press A to relock the permissions press A to relock once that's done let's move on to 6 press the home button to bring up the action again okay select script and then select backup system NAN press A okay so make sure that you have at least 1.3 gigabyte space on your SD card so we need once you have that press A to continue and it's gonna back up the system NAN okay so once it's done backing up your system NAN what we need to do from right here now is press press A to continue and it's a system backup successful press A and from right here we need to hold as you can see on the website number six it says hold R and press B at the same time to eject your SD card so that's what I'm gonna do okay so let's remove the SD card
plug it to your PC and let's back up your system NAN. Okay, so let's go to the GM9. Let's go to the out folder and we need to back up these stuff. So I'll just copy the out folder, save it on my computer. Remember to save this in multiple locations just to keep your stuff safe. Okay, once you save it on your computer, go ahead and just rename it to something easy. Okay, now go back over to your SD card, go inside the out folder, and let's delete these files. Okay, once you have done that, eject the SD card and plug it back to your 3DS. Now, now as you can see on the website, it says insert your SD card to the computer and copy these files. Then after that, you need to delete them from the SD card after you have copied it, reinsert back the SD card to your device and you should hold R and press B at the same time to remount your SD card. So okay there you go it's remounted. So what we need to do from right here is press home button to bring up the action menu. Okay once that's up you should select script okay now select clean up SD card let me check this first okay if you get an error if you get an error just go ahead and press the hard button and B again to remount and just try it again okay now mine shows up so as you can see it shows up now so select clean up SD card that's right here number three press A then it will when prompt press A to continue as you see we are now prompt so press A to continue okay and number five says press A to continue and press start to reboot. Okay, so the console has now been rebooted. What we need to do from right here is go ahead and install a CIA game. So let me just go ahead right now and remove the SD card. and let's plug it to the PC okay so what we need to do from right here is create a folder called CIA because we just cleaned up the memory card so a lot of stuff are not there anymore so just create a folder called CIA okay go inside that folder now copy any CIA game you have copy it over to that folder okay once it's copied over remove the SD card from the PC and plug it back to your 3DS okay now what we need to do from right here is launch the FBI. Okay, now select the SD card at the top, go down to CIA, go down to the game that you just copied over to the folder, press A. 
you can do install and delete CIA just to keep the SD card clean at all times so you can do install CIA or install and delete CIA so I'll just do this one to clean up the memory card at the same time press A again and as you can see the game is now installing okay press the A button press the home button close the application and you will get this notification that a new item has been added so as you can see there is the new icon so let's just go and open it and that's it we now have the game on our console right here and you can go ahead and install any other game you want just like this and it will work remember that it's very very simple and easy to do guys we now have a few other stuff we have some demos that comes with the game that we just installed so just follow my step or you can just follow the guide from the website and you all can have it um, installed on your console and everything so I hope this tutorial was helpful to anyone out there. If it was, please leave a like, share, and also subscribe for more videos to come. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video.